In this module, you will learn about the different raw material for petrochemicals. You will also learn about different feedstock sources for petrochemicals. You will also look at world oil refining and petrochemicals output composition, what goes on in world oil refining and petrochemical industry. We will also quickly touch base, touch the difference between fuels and chemicals. And finally, the world gas oil industry basic functions. Feedstock resources for petrochemicals consist of this simplified illustration. On the bottom side, you see natural gas, condensate, and oil. The three components I have shown you, the light, natural gas, the medium, the condensate, and the heavy, the crude oil. All of these are sources of hydrocarbons for petrochemicals. Starting with the lightest one, natural gas would contain methane and ethane. Methane can get converted to methanol and finally to ethylene, the basic building block for polyethylene. <clears throat> and progressing along those lines, you will see methanol can also be used as a feedstock to making of polypropylene. Methane, ethane, along with LPG can also be used in the manufacture of aromatics. On the top side, you see ethylene, polypropylene, and aromatics the basic components of petrochemical industry, how these are derived from the natural gas, condensate, and oil through this illustration. On the oil side, oil is first refined in a refinery and you get naphtha. Naphtha then get converted to ethylene, propylene, and aromatics.